Hello, you're watching Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and this is a video demonstration of the Spanish tortilla, or in American terms, we would just call this a potato and onion frittata. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. This recipe comes from Deborah Madison's The New Vegetarian Cooking for Everyone. We'll get started with peeling and very thinly slicing potatoes. I'm using your basic russet baking potato. You can also use a red potato. You can also see here that I'm using my handy dandy mandolin, which works really well when you have to slice two pounds of potatoes. While we have this out, we're going to slice an entire onion. You can also dice your onion. Let's take about four tablespoons of a very good Spanish olive oil and heat it in a large wide skillet. You can see here I'm using cast iron. If you don't have cast iron, that's more than fine. You can use a nonstick skillet. And as you can guess, we're going to fry something in this olive oil. We're going to start with our sliced potatoes. You're going to cook these over medium heat, stirring frequently until they're cooked through and golden, which is about 20 minutes. When they're done, the potatoes will have lost their opaque white centers, and you'll have to make a lot of effort to separate any slices that stick together so they cook evenly. One thing to note as you stir, you definitely want to use your spatula to scoop up any of those slices on the bottom of the pan so that no slice gets left behind and uh, overcooks and burns and ruins your entire frittata. So get under there really good, get some good flippage going and let everything cook evenly. And here they are, good and golden. We do have some crispy bits on the bottom and don't worry, those will not get left behind. And once you decide that they're ready, you'll take a slotted spoon or a slotted spatula and transfer them to a bowl. Next, we're gonna saute our onions in what olive oil may be left. If you need to or just want to, you can add another tablespoon of olive oil. We'll saute these until they're lightly browned. Once I get the rings all separated, I'm gonna let them sit there and do their thing. And while they do their thing, we're going to beat our eggs. You can use six to eight eggs. I'm using eight medium eggs, but I definitely think eight large or jumbo eggs would not be too much here. By now, our onions should be done doing their thing and we'll transfer those to the same bowl with the potatoes. We'll season our potatoes and onions with salt and pepper. Let's toss this together so everything is even and pour in our beaten eggs. Now very carefully, take a paper towel and gently wipe out your pan. Add in two more tablespoons of your very good Spanish olive oil. And as you guessed it, we will carefully pour in that egg potato onion mixture. Take a minute to flatten out any pieces of potato that may be sticking up, just smooth it all out. And cook over low heat until it's golden on the bottom, which should take about 10 minutes. Now, of course, you can't really see the bottom, so you'll have to use some other cues that it's cooking properly. For instance, you can see here at the edge of, the, my, of my pan where the egg is starting to set. And every now and then I'll take a spatula and just test how it's going, if it's setting all together. Now the original recipe says after it's cooked for 10 minutes, you're going to invert this onto a plate and slide it back into the pan so you can cook the other side. Um, but this is a large cast iron pan, which is heavy in and of itself, not to mention with all of the, the food in it and the hot oil. So I'm going to use my broiler on low for 10 minutes. This is how it looks when it comes out of the broiler. And I'm gonna take another long spatula and just test to see if the whole thing releases from the pan, which it does, very good sign. We've cooked this right. And we will very delicately shake your frittata out of the pan and onto a serving plate. And y'all, it's ready to go. 
So have a wonderful time with this recipe. The ingredients are so simple and humble. You most likely already have all of the ingredients at home to get started on this. You might need to go find some very good olive oil. The quality of olive oil does really matter here because you're using so much of it. So click on my face to subscribe to this channel and click on the recommended video to keep watching more video demonstrations just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion. Thanks for watching.